hey what's up guys Rana here and in this video I'll be showing you how you can add Google map on your WordPress site plus I'll show you guys how you can add API keys from Google Cloud Platform into your Google map so that your map will work properly so stick around and I'll show you how you can add Google map on your WordPress site <music> So first of all, as you can see, this is a brand new installation of WordPress site. There are no content on this website. Okay. So first of all, we need to install a plugin. Head over to plugins, click on add new and come over here and search for your favorite Google map. I'm going to type Google map and install your favorite one. I like this WP Google map. I'm going to click on install now. And now click on activate so once you install this Google map plugin now we need to head over to maps and then click on settings now you can customize your Google map from here but we are interested in API keys which can be found under the advanced setting so when you open the advanced tab you can see there is a Google map API key required in order to work this map properly so where are we gonna get this first of all we need to open Google Cloud Platform let me open a new tab let's go to Google and now I'm gonna type Google Cloud and open up cloud.google.com and now I'm gonna click on console so now I'm inside the dashboard of my Google Cloud Platform so first of all I want to let you know that if your google cloud platform account is not activated then activate your google cloud platform account first you may see a message on the top right about there to activate your account once you activate your google cloud platform account then you need to create a project first so how you can do that well click on this drop down button and you will see a pop-up window appears on your screen here you can see a new project button over here click on that and you can create a new project I already created a project once you create your project make sure you select your project like this so first of all let's click on the burger menu icon from the left side and hover your mouse over APIs and services and click on dashboard and first thing we need to do is we need to enable APIs and services click on to enable it so now we have successfully enabled Google Cloud Platform APIs and services let's go back to the dashboard okay once you do that click on the bug menu from the left side now hover your mouse over APIs and services and then click on library so here you can see the first option maps if you do not see maps you can search from here okay now click on view all so guys here we need to enable maps javascript api and geocoding api and geolocation api place api and directions api let's enable these one by one first and most important is maps javascript api now click on that now click on enable once you enable you will see a disable button appear on your screen that means your maps javascript api is enabled successfully now let's go back apis and services library let's enable place api click on enable okay now let's go to library again directions api let's enable this one as well let's go back to library again view all geolocation api enable this one as well now let's go back to library again click on view all geocoding api let's enable this one apis and services library view all i think we enable essentials api keys over here now click on this burger menu icon hover your mouse over APIs and services and now we need to create a credentials click on that now click on credentials now you will see a drop down menu click on API keys first option 
now click on restrict key so here i'm gonna select the second option http refers website now i'm gonna click on add an item here i have to type the website url let's go here highlight and copy let's go back to this page and paste the url over here and click on done and now i'm gonna click on save changes at the very bottom now you can see we have successfully created a credentials now we can copy the api key by clicking on the copy to clipboard button over here now we successfully copy the api key into our clipboard now let's go back here and paste the api key over here now scroll down at the very bottom and click on save settings to see this map working properly let's go to maps and click on edit or you can create a new one but for now let's click on edit and here you can type anything any location you want i'm going to type Ahmedgarh, which is my city so as you can see that whenever we type something on google map it suggests us different locations as well as well as it let us know that which location we want to add on google maps that means we have successfully configured our google maps api keys now let's go to pages click on add new add a title i'm gonna call it google map so now i'm gonna add a google map on this page click on publish and now let's view this page so guys as you can see we have successfully added a google map on a wordpress site so with this way you can add google map on any wordpress site all right guys that's the pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one and that being said goodbye and i'll catch you guys next time